Hey guys, welcome to another uh, drawing session. I'm your host, James Windsor Smith, and today I'll be using these watercolor pencils that I got at a local antique store. They're much thicker than what I'm used to, and I have no idea how this is going to work out, but we'll learn together. If it fails, it fails. Just uh, here comes the fun. You all set? Okay, I'm going to pick out a color here at random. I like to mix it up. Okay, I picked out green. Let's see the brand here. These are Stabilos. I've never heard of this, but they have a barcode. They can't be that old. You can see that there. Let's work on the focus here. Okay, anyways, let's try this out. All right, um, I have no idea how this is going to come out when we process the water. And I have no idea what this even will be. Looks like a stalk of broccoli. Okay, I'm going to go to a lighter shade of uh, green. go a bit dark because we have no idea what kind of results we're going to get. It usually reacts better when it's darker, at least as far as the Prisma colors go. So let's give that a shot. A yeah, shout out to my friend Nicole, who's a, a son is making a Lego channel right now. He's never uploaded to uh, YouTube before, so this is his first time. So... Good luck to him, and good luck to them at all, and all. Okay, now we need something different. We'll go with some sort of gold here. Does it say? No, so we'll just go for it. Let me angle this right. Okay. This one will be a little quicker than the previous ones have been. We're just playing around with this. Here's black, actually. I'm putting it towards uh, or against the light source here. It's towards the dark side. So I guess come to the dark side. Add some blue. I'm going a little lighter out here just because I want to play with it a bit and see if it works or not. These could look really cool or really shitty. We'll see together. Okay, let's see if I let's see if I have a brush pen here. There we go. We're starting on the dark side. 
Normally I want to start on the dark side because it really affects the brush, but uh, let's see how it goes. It's going pretty well already. What would I this off over here? Let's see. Now let's go to the other side. Now these are pretty good results. I like the way this is coming out here. All right, let's add pen lines. Here we go. Ultra draw again, multi liner rather. Size point two. Pop off the cap. And here we go. Because it's been a while since I used that one. It's pretty used up. All right, scratch that. Let's see what else we have. Okay, 0.35. Uh, that one I've used recently, so that one should be all right. Yeah, it's coming out. And those little bumpy things that you get on broccoli. Whatever they're called, they uh, clean out your innards. Gotta have happy innards. Yeah, I don't think this is reacting very well to the uh, waxiness of the uh, watercolor pencils. It's drawing okay now, but it's, it is sometimes a struggle. I'd say the Derwent Inktense pencils are still the way to go. I can't even tell if I'm getting anything out of here right now. I am there. I'm testing white pens. Let's try a white pencil just to continue with the motif of mixing it up. That's not really doing much. Yeah, this one is a bit of a failure, but. Oh, it's all right. I like the way the broccoli looks, at least, even if it's just abstract. Sorry, I shook the camera there. Okay. I'm checking another water brush just to do it. Why not? All right, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed our session, and I'll see you next time.